The most important story of the morning, if you drink red wine, if you eat nuts or peanut butter or grapes, yes. you might be working off the years, literally. A professor at Harvard suggesting he may have found a way to slow down the aging process. Fox Medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, more on that this morning. Doctor, good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. Hope your turkey was good. Excellent. And you got a lot of it. Hey, do you know this David Sinclair professor at Harvard? <laughs> yes, and he does work with a very reputable group, although as you already pointed out, he owns the company that is producing this and is looking into it, so there is that vested interest he has. But this is very interesting research, though very preliminary. Now, we're talking mice here, Bill. Mice only live about a year, so extending their lives about 26 to 40 percent, though dramatic is not necessarily applicable right, to humans. All right, point well taken, but he was not trying to figure out how we age, he was trying to figure out how we slow down the aging process. Exactly right, and what he did find is that the mice, when these proteins were manipulated, called sirtuins, actually they see better, they have better coordination, they have less bone loss, and they live longer. And if you feed them resveratrol, which is our old friend from the skin of grapes, and our, we've been saying for a long time, drink a glass of red wine, they also have the same effect. Now, well, these, well, what's the connection between red wine, the nuts, the peanut butter, the grapes? The resveratrol is in red wine. Right. What and, about the others? Well, the others have foodstuffs that promote these proteins that regulate genes and cause DNA to break down less often. You see, the proteins that they're studying here actually preserve DNA, which is really important that genes are actually functioning properly. So if you feed them the red grapes or if you feed them the nuts or the peanut butter, they get more of these active proteins that cause cellular function well, to last longer. You just said you want to preserve the DNA. Does DNA erode over time? Well, Bill, that's a great question. What happens is that DNA needs repair more and more over time. The more you have to repair it, the more you age. The less you have to repair it, the less you age. If you have low-calorie diets, by the way, you need to repair it less. This protein is responsible for repairing it. But the more it gets tied up repairing DNA, the the less effective it is at preventing aging. So we're going to give people the impression here that this might be possible. I, well, in, in your years of working in medicine, I do think, you believe that? I think it's preliminary, Bill. Look, it worked in plants. Now we're moving over to animals. In my years of working in medicine, I refrain from saying that something that works in mice is automatically going to work in people. I think it's a good starting place, but these are very complicated proteins. Go out and have a grape. But don't think this is going to cure you. It's so too you're, early. You're, the research is not good enough to develop an anti-aging lotion it's, or cream or it's pill. It's far away from that. If we start getting into that, we're going to start more with the commercial stuff. I think this is a good wake-up call for looking at the genetics. You know what this is, Bill? This tells us that our latest genetic technology is getting us somewhere at understanding how we age. That's what's fascinating here, learning how we age. Now we have to figure out what to do about it. We're way away from that. Well, if it's good for mice, it might be good for us. It might be. It, it might be. It might be. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, we Bill. We take your note of caution mm. to heart. Dr. Thanks. Mark Siegel. So